I'm not an influencer. I'm just some fat guy who got it right a couple times. I don't want to make money from you, and the only reason I would ever charge you a penny is so if I coach you, you adhere to the insanely hard protocols due to the investment you'd be making. I would rather make money from company sponsorships, and only in the instance that the product they provide leads to your own betterment. And to give you an idea, I actually lost money on this first 90 day group program that I'm running right now, but I don't care because as a group, we're already down over 300 pounds. In less than a month, I come from a good family and I was raised with incredible values where I would give someone my last dollar or the shirt off my back because they probably need it more than I do. I am not an influencer. Nothing about what I'm doing right now is normal and honestly, I'm getting a little bit annoyed of people accusing me of thinking that it is. No normal person can quit their jobs for an entire year just to try to fix their life. No normal person can lose 130 pounds in eight months and have very little loose skin and this wildly insane muscle mass. No normal person can hold a six hour gym routine for eight months straight. This is some David Goggins level stuff. Now, the term influencer actually really bugs me. Because to me, the word influence means to shift someone's mind into doing something that might not inherently be better for them. And so many times have we seen influencers get drunk with power and absolutely take advantage of their following. And I've made some horrible decisions like using PEDs at a very young age, leading to some incredibly harmful side effects that I'm still dealing with to this day. But now if I have to become an influencer to make a positive change against the big fast food industry, I'll adopt the term of being an influencer, I guess. But only if that's what it takes in order to help thousands of people better their lives and lose a bunch of weight. Then I'll make you this promise right here, right now. And I'll expect you to hold me up to it so that I never falter. I will never endorse a product I haven't tried myself. All testing of said products will be live and measured on my social media platforms with measurable and quantifiable metrics of success. I will never hold only one single opinion and will always allow myself to be challenged if a solid argument is made. I will respect the privacy of anybody who decides to reach out to me in my DMs. Unless, of course, I'm being attacked. I will always correct any misinformation I may have inadvertently shared and provide clear and accurate updates. And I will always, and I mean, I, will, I promise, I will always share the good, the bad, and the ugly. So although you may already see me as one, I don't want to be an influencer. But if that's what it's gonna take to make a difference in this world, then fuck it. I'll be your influencer.